Go sit down. Sit down. What is this? <laughs> Duh. I'm kidding. So, hello and welcome to another video here on Me Plus You Is Us. Her name is Elaine. His name is Kwame. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so yeah, um, we're back with another video. Yes. And as you may already know, the video you've all been waiting for without wanting, without knowing it. Which is what? It was oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How we found out that we were expecting, expecting a child. Expecting. Yeah. How we found out that we were expecting a child. Yeah. So. So last week we talked a bit more about the process. Of getting Not there. Not the physical process, but. The, the mental process, process of, of prepping of to start prepping. a family. Yes. What would that mean for us? What do we envision? All these things. Yeah. Um, but of course, there's also the practical side of things. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to tell them the practical no. side of things. We're going to okay. tell them the story about how we found out and what we've been up to. Yeah. So interestingly, yeah. if you rewind, it came at the same time that we got Nala. Yes. Which is interesting. And it all came as one package deal. Yes. So maybe Nala is the guardian of the baby. We don't know. Could or the be. other way around. Could be. Anyway, it's magical anyway. Um, how did we find out? Well, we went on Easter break. And then when we with came With my back. friend who yeah. came to, from Netherlands. We drove all the way to Bujra. Yeah, Bujra. I had uh, a couple of club beers. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, then uh, shortly after that, uh, I was going on a work trip. And not just any work trip, three countries in three weeks. Yeah. And three events. Yeah. So I knew it was going to be intense. Um, of course, for Kwame, uh, he was also taking care of Nala on his own. So it, for uh, both of us, it was quite like we had to adapt a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and it was mostly Francophone countries. So I went to Mali, uh, Abidjan, uh, Ivory Coast, and Cote d'Ivoire, and uh, Burkina Faso. Um, so in Mali, I think I almost at the end of that trip, I think we called. Because I had like cramps and stuff and we're talking like, okay, then... Yeah, the cramps was bad and she was having other symptoms like, you know, a headache and... Yeah, so it's like, I was a bit... She wasn't well. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed. I was also like, okay, so this month it didn't work out. Yeah. Even though we're not like counting all these things, but we're like, hmm, okay, yeah. it didn't so work out. Cramps so... being a symptom of the PMS. Yeah. And, um, but then nothing came. Like normally you get your flow and then, I don't know why I'm explaining periods to people. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an educative thing. <laughs> so that didn't come. So I was at Abishan and I felt some kind of way. And I was like, no, because I just knew something felt different. So I was like, oh my God. Um, what am I going to do? And I also wasn't sure, like, okay, I had like kind of two options, right? So get it checked there. So get a pregnancy test, go to a pharmacy. So I Googled pharmacy. So I was like, ah, this is not how I imagined this. Yeah. <laughs> because I really wanted to do it with Kwame and not go out there explaining French uh, to some stranger that I needed a pregnancy test, then do it alone in my hotel room and not being able to tell anybody because I would want to tell Kwame first, yeah. uh, preferably in person. So I was like, nah, this is not it. So I was like, you know what? Hold on. I'm just going to keep it for myself. Not tell Kwame because I didn't want to tell him over the phone and just... Also to not get me worried. 
because for me, I was already, already worried about the headaches and how bad the cramps were when she told me about it and how she was feeling yeah. uh, unwell. So I was automatically um, panicking and freaking or, or panicking, thinking that, oh, with, with you know, the cramps in, headache and, you know, a bit of a cold or whatever it is, whatever you're feeling, is it COVID? Should you check it out? Yeah. So I, did, I think she didn't want to bother me further with such no, details. and I also didn't want to give it to you over the phone. Over the phone, and it was also like, so for me, I wanted to be sure before I would call you and tell you, but that would mean I would go out there on my own, get a test. It could have done, but I was like, oh, it's so different than how I imagined it. So it's like, okay, let me just keep it for myself. So I did Abishan. <laughs> I made it through. Uh, and then uh, when I came to Burkina, things really got bad because I got really nauseous and I didn't, couldn't eat anything. Everything made me nauseous. And uh, we had a very intense day with events and I was literally uh, like, how am I going to get through this? So at that point in time, we also spoke a little less because I didn't want to share how bad I was feeling because I was far, far away. But at the same time, this was like that thought of, okay, it might be here. Uh, for me, immediately, that part was, I felt peace. I was like, that, that part didn't bother me. It was just like the side effects that were literally throwing me off. And I was like, I'm not sure if I can do this. But I made it through. And uh, the camera picked me up from the airport, which was really nice on a Friday. And at the airport, that's when... Not at the airport. I waited in till I was in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the car. I wanted us to be in one space. In the car, that's when she was like, uh, this is what she had been feeling. And no, I said, I haven't been honest with you. <laughs> and then he looked at me like, like, huh? like what is <laughs> happening? And then I, well, a lot of emotions came also because I was kind of repressing all the things you had gone through. So Yeah, so I cried a little and then it's like, I have this, I have all these side effects and so I think it points at uh, me being pregnant and he just went quiet <laughs> <laughs> he started sweating <laughs> do you remember what you were thinking in that moment I was happy yeah I was happy I was like whoa but like we need to check like immediately because I mean yes you're telling me this now like no way because I was putting two and two together in my head like oh but she said she was having cramps and you know this ah, it means but she didn't actually say that after the cramps the, the, flow, came. the flow actually came so in my head she is flowing and yeah that's it i mean so i was like ah. like wow but i was happy i know i was happy i was very very happy and i was like you know what we need to get the test kits asap yeah, because that's what I also said. Like, I think we should get yeah. go to the pharmacy right now before we even because get home. Because if it's if it's not it, then something is really wrong. Because then yeah, <laughs> all these things came out of nowhere. But it was also funny for me to watch because I have had like one and a half weeks, two weeks to kind of process it, and then <laughs> it's quite a lot to dump on one person when you're not finding out at the same time. Yeah. So I have had like all the thoughts already, like okay what if this goes well what if like you just like okay what if it's you just get a lot of thoughts right yeah. and i saw that for you in that moment all like blop um, but i i was i mean yes i was overwhelmed i started sweating and everything but like it was happy like you know um, news it's just a happy rush yeah you know it's like whoa like it's actually happening yeah so excitedly drove I actually drove slower than I ever do because all of a sudden, I don't know, my instincts were like, yep. And we were also like, where should we get it? Like, where do you even get a test? And like, we should get a credible one, whatever that means. Beans. <laughs> but uh, yeah. like I drove slowly and, you know, anxiously home. We got to a pharmacy, we got a two-in-one kit and then we came home and we tested. Yeah. And then uh, immediately, uh, I didn't take, I don't know how the, long the these test, things the, the take. Test, the test said, said ideally you should wait for like two or something minutes for the bars to 
Seconds. Yeah, it was seconds. The hormones were clearly there, like in <laughs> the in the pee. Like it was just like that. Yeah. So we got to know, as you're seeing on the screen at the moment. Yeah. Wow. And just a week after, um, while Elaine was driving to work, yeah, something terrible happened. Yeah, so uh, in the beginning it was a bit, uh, how you say, uh, it was tricky in the beginning because uh, the week I came back I drove to work and while I was parking, in, literally I was at work, I was parking, I was next to a main road and there was actually no traffic, normally there's traffic there in the morning but there wasn't, but that kind of encouraged people to speed, uh, especially truck drivers. So the uh, Churcho drove into the side of the car. Oh, she was turning in. Well, I was like, I was actually almost parked. Um, yeah, so suddenly I had a Churcho on the right side of the car. Um, we that, immediately had to check. Yeah. We, well, while we had already booked our first um, ultrasound. Yeah. For a week or so, um, two weeks. Yeah, we're not supposed to check it the week the accident happened, but we immediately had to check because we needed to be sure that um, everything was fine. Yeah, so it was like, it was of course overwhelming anyway, uh, also because I already have a bit of anxiety on the road and then this happened was like my biggest nightmare. Uh, and the interaction with the driver wasn't also pleasant and luckily my colleagues were around and then later uh, Karma picked me up because I, I wasn't even sure what I was supposed to do but it's always so it's always better to get checked just in case uh, that's what we did everything was fine and that was also the first time we saw the baby of course it was like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was really tiny like a lentil I think yeah. At the time, you have this app that gives it a fruit every week. Um, so that was good, but then I think that was on a Thursday, and then the next day we had already booked uh, our first appointment with our own gynecologist, and thank God, Grandma had said, yeah. I was like, oh, we don't have to go, we, did, we already have pictures of the baby. <laughs> what are we going for? We already have proof that it's fine, and then I was like, no, we still have to go. Yeah, so he said, why not? It can't hurt and it's good to meet the gynecologist. I was like, okay, fine. Um, but of, because of course I wasn't feeling well, I wasn't going to work in that day or even that Thursday just to get some rest because your body gets really tense. And so he went to see the doctor and then she actually noticed uh, a small crack in like the... Yeah, the, the sack. The sack where the baby's in. Uh, yeah, I think the membrane and outside that sack had a little. Yeah. Um, and uh, she said that. Uh, she prescribed a bed rest yes, for two for weeks. Yes, for two weeks. Which for me was very shocking. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, oh, yes, I, I. She was like, are you fine? I was like, yes, I feel fine, blah, blah, blah. And then Graham was like, well, you had an accident yesterday. I was like, yeah, an accident, but here are the pictures. Everything is fine. And then she was like, no, let me look myself just Again, to be yeah. sure. And then she said, okay, there's a small bleeding. Um, you had me to rest, bed rest for two weeks. I was like, whoa. So what's happening now, though? You keep burping? Yes. How often? All day. It's not nice, huh? No. So. Supposed to be only morning, but not for me. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. We'll be fine. Because I didn't see that coming. Yeah. And it's weird how it flipped from something exciting to, to suddenly sudden, something well, like very... The, the responsibility is, is now daunting on you that, whoa, like, I mean, daunting on you that... And quite quickly. That, like, whoa, okay, anything you do yeah. has to be really, like, you know... Yeah, I was very... With, I with was a the, bit sad because I want... Like, I was sad that 
because of somebody or because of that situation now something that was very exciting and a happy thing turned into something that is very fragile and might not happen and you get all these scenarios in your head uh, and two weeks of bed rest is not easy for me too <laughs> yeah um, and then I had to travel immediately after so I wasn't yeah. around for the two weeks yeah yeah. So yeah, but after luckily, yes. So after two weeks, I went back. There was nothing to be seen. Everything was fine. I was very relieved. I cried a little. <laughs> not a little. No, you were not there, so you don't know. Yeah, I know. It's Just a few it. tears of I relief. Know it's not gonna be a little. <laughs> Whatever, you weren't there. <laughs> So, I, and then that was at the time you had left your laptop at security. That was the same day. Wow. <laughs> Carmen was flying out in it. Wow. This laptop at security. So this pregnant lady has to, had to go okay. after the good news so, yeah, to the airport. <laughs> that's what happened. We're fine. Yes. We've been going and checking up on the baby. Uh, yes. We've been planning. Um, Since the rough beginning... Everything has been everything has been, has been good. okay. Has been good, and we're working on uh, preparations for meeting the baby, and uh, we hope to take you along on that journey as well. Yeah, but this was the beginning. This was the beginning. So now you know the story. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll, oh. we'll we'll end this here before we commit too much okay. more, so that. We'll tell them more next time. Yeah, we can share more with you in our next video. Yes. Okay. So thank you for um, listening to us talk about how we found out we were pregnant and what happened a few days after and how we've been managing with all the things that we have to do, the supplements, the hospital appointments and all that. Thank you very much for being here. But yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. My name is Kwame. I'm Elaine. <sighs> Baby boom. <laughs> <laughs>